occupied failed to achieve clear imagery shows a Russian military convoy is massing. The column of tanks and armored vehicles is over 65 kilometers long. Now, after days of remaining put, France has shifted its embassy. Dozens of civilians have reportedly been killed. Catherine Biet reports. Huddled together underground. Since the bombs started falling on Kharkiv almost a week ago, Ekaterina Babenko and her family casualties in street fighting while shelling has intensified. The Russian military has denied targeting residential areas despite evidence of considerable damage to apartment buildings, schools and hospitals that have also killed civilians. For now, Kharkiv remains under Ukrainian control and the advance of Putin's troops is proving to be slower than expected. This is also true for Kyiv, although a major Russian offensive is anticipated at any moment, with U.S. satellite images showing a train of armor stretching 65 kilometers long, some 30 kilometers northwest of the capital. Residents form long lines to get their necessities from supermarkets, quickly stripping the shelves bare after the weekend curfew where many passed a miserable time beneath the ground. The conditions are no better in pro-Russian separatist regions to the east, where people are also cowering ground, and pro-separatist leaders take delight on planting their flag on ruins. Though for now at least, the other major cities elude them. Now, over 70 Ukraine-Russian troops reportedly shelled a military base in the region. We can now go across to Tracy J. In uh, the blitz, it was hoping it would. Could that be about to change? I've been slower than they expected, um, with much fiercer resistance from Ukraine, but um, it looks like they are planning a major assault, yes. A major assault uh, on the capital, Kiev, because we have this, this column of uh, uh, tanks and vehicles at some... The armoured column that we've been watching the satellite image o images of over the, um, overnight... Um, and obviously, uh, uh, Russian forces on the ground already surround Kiev. So, I mean, they're deeply concerning watching this. Uh, you know, you created it is because obviously, um, if any NATO member gets involved with the no fly zone, um, that will be um, a full confrontation between NATO and Russia. So, um, it's tantamount to putting boots on the ground, isn't it? Yes. So, um, I, 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 I. You know, I think um, NATO is incredibly wary of any confrontation, direct confrontation with Russia. Nobody wants that. We've seen images uh, on social media.